three ways to think about water. One, rain falls in the mountains. It's really clean and you and I can drink it. Two, we flush our toilets with the same pristine drinking water. It gets treated and within 12 hours goes right back into Puget Sound. Three, rain that falls on all our roads, rooftops and parking lots doesn't have a chance to soak into the ground. So it runs off rapidly, carrying pollution with it. Would you drink from the curb in front of your house? Salmon do. There is no new water entering or leaving these systems. Pick any place in the circle, and you can say with accuracy, Puget Sound starts here. Most of the time, our region has plenty of water available. During the summer, however, water consumption doubles, or even triples, because we want to irrigate our lawns, landscaping, golf courses, and parks. Accommodating this peak demand is one of our biggest challenges. And we're getting better at it. The top line shows our regional population growing by about 11% over the last decade. The bottom line shows our water consumption decreasing by about 24%. So even with the increased population, we are actually consuming less water today than we were 40 years ago. On a per-person basis, water consumption has shrunk by one-third, from 150 to 100 gallons a day. 100 gallons per day. There's five people in my family. That's 500 gallons per day. In Europe, people live as well as us, but consume only about 33 gallons per day. In Africa, the average is five gallons per day. 